In the year 2150, Sean Combs, once known as Puff Daddy, had transcended his status as a mere music mogul. He had become a shadowy figure of galactic influence, his wealth stretching beyond Earth and deep into the stars. For over a century, rumors swirled about his seemingly eternal youth, his untouched empire, and the strange disappearances of artists who had once signed to his label. While humanity expanded into the stars, spreading its culture and influence across newly colonized worlds, Puff Daddy remained an enigmatic constant, weaving himself into the fabric of galactic politics, entertainment, and even the military-industrial complex. Yet something dark lingered behind the facade of success. The truth, uncovered by an alien race known as the Zeltrixians, shook the very core of the galaxy. The Zeltrixians were a hyper-advanced species with psychic abilities, their minds able to peer into the collective unconsciousness of the universe. When they stumbled upon traces of a hidden past, one linked to Combs, their curiosity turned into horror. Puff Daddy had made a secret pact with the Karn, a long-extinct ancient race that had once dominated the galaxy. The Karn, masters of soul manipulation and energy transference, had developed forbidden technology to preserve their consciousness indefinitely by draining the life force of others. In exchange for his soul, Puff Daddy had gained their technology, and he had been using it for centuries, siphoning the creative energy and souls of human artists to fuel his immortality and power. Unbeknownst to the public, every artist who mysteriously vanished from the music industry had fallen victim to Puff Daddy's dark ritual. Their souls were trapped in an interdimensional prison, feeding him with endless youth and boundless energy. It wasn't just his music empire that thrived. Puff Daddy had secretly manipulated world governments and corporations, amassing influence beyond any human comprehension. Entire planets were beholden to his will his name whispered in fear across the stars. But the Zeltrixians, having sensed the unnatural energy emanating from his interstellar empire, began investigating the truth. As the Zeltrixians delved deeper into Puff Daddy's crimes, they unraveled a history of exploitation, murder, and manipulation on a galactic scale. Their psychic probes revealed a hidden vault on a forgotten moon, filled with the remnants of the Karn's technology, devices that bound souls, drain life, and extended the user's existence indefinitely. But it was Combs himself who held the darkest secret. His body was no longer entirely human. Over time, he had become a being of pure energy and shadow, the last vestiges of his human form only a mask to conceal the monstrous entity he had become. Outraged, the Zeltrixians transmitted this knowledge across the galaxy. Puff Daddy's once untouchable empire began to crumble as entire star systems learned of his true nature. The Galactic Council declared him an enemy of all sentient life, and a massive bounty was placed on his head. No longer able to hide behind his influence or wealth, Puff Daddy went on the run, retreating to the farthest reaches of known space, a fortress built on the edge of a black hole, where he had hoped to continue his dark rituals and rebuild his power. But the Zeltrixians, alongside a coalition of human and alien forces, would not be deterred. They launched a final assault on his stronghold, breaking through his automated defenses, corrupt mercenaries, and energy-based traps. Inside his fortress, Combs, now fully transformed into a being of living shadow and cosmic energy, fought back. His voice, once a beacon of charisma and power, now echoed through the halls like a deathly wail. He summoned the souls he had trapped, twisting them into monstrous beings that fought alongside him. But the combined forces of the galaxy pressed forward, breaking through the final barrier. As the battle raged inside the fortress, Puff Daddy's true form was revealed, an enormous, pulsating entity of dark energy, his eyes glowing with the stolen life force of thousands. He unleashed a psychic scream that tore through the minds of his attackers, but the Zeltrixians, fortified by their mental shields, pressed on. The battle was fierce, with energy weapons and psychic blasts filling the air as the galaxy's forces slowly closed in on the once unstoppable mogul. In a final desperate move, Puff Daddy attempted to escape by merging with the Black Hole's event horizon, hoping to use its immense power to ascend to a higher plane of existence. But as he reached the edge of the Black Hole, the Zeltrixians deployed their ultimate weapon, 
a quantum disruption field that severed his connection to the stolen souls, leaving him vulnerable. His body, now stripped of the Karn technology's protection, began to unravel. With a scream that echoed across the cosmos, Puff Daddy's dark essence was torn apart, his immortality shattered. As the fortress crumbled into the black hole's pull, Puff Daddy was consumed by the singularity, his existence wiped from the universe. The galaxy watched in awe as one of its greatest tyrants met his end, swallowed by the very force he had hoped to control. His name was erased from history, his empire dismantled, and the souls he had imprisoned were finally freed. Though Puff Daddy's reign of terror had ended, his story became a warning to all who sought power beyond the limits of morality. The universe remembers, and the universe will bring justice, no matter how long it takes. In the aftermath, the galaxy rebuilt itself, and Puff Daddy's legacy became nothing more than a dark legend whispered among the stars, a reminder that even the most powerful beings can fall when they are consumed by their own greed and ambition.